every once in a while you have to take a break and have some fun. We've got a dead standing tree trunk in the yard. We've got a truck and a rope. So today, Moe's is going to help us try and pull this thing down. Let's have some fun. So I'll show you my setup real quick. I've got a climbing rope. This is a black diamond climbing rope used for rappelling, but it's about 10 years old, so it's expired. I've tied a figure eight knot in it, and then I've attached it to my receiver hitch uh, with a through bolt. On the tree side, I've got a nice bowline knot tied here at the top of the tree, which allowed me to create a nice size loop or lasso that goes all the way around the tree. So those are my knots that I've used to attach the rope to the tree and to the receiver hitch. So what I'm going to do is hop in the truck, throw it in the neutral, put some tension on it, and we'll see what happens. The first thing that I wanted to try was just putting the truck in neutral, letting it roll down the hill and put some tension on this rope. We've got that done. Nothing is going on with this trunk. It's not budging and all of the weight of the truck is on this rope right here. So I can throw the truck in neutral and it's not going anywhere because it's being held back by this rope. I tried pulling it down with the truck and the rope, but nothing happened. So I had to get out the ax, start hacking away. made it through most of the rotten wood on the outside. We had a couple casualties with the birdhouses, but uh, we made it to the heartwood, which is still really solid. So I think it's time to get out the chainsaw, see if we can't cut this thing clear through and take it down. So take a break, get the chainsaw out and uh, get back at it. All right, we're back after a quick break. We got the chainsaw set up. Show you what we're working with here. This is a steel MS-660. This thing is an absolute beast. If you wanted to, you could probably cut your house in half with it. I don't recommend it, but just in case you wanted to know. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a couple of cuts here on the front, try to take out a wedge, and then I'm gonna come across the back with a straight cut. And I'm hoping that with the weight of the truck and the rope pulling it in this direction that we end up uh, with, a, with a nice clean fall uh, kind of in the direction that uh, the rope is pulling it. So. We'll get the safety equipment on, we'll get this thing fired up, and uh, we'll see if we can't bring it down. I think we've got a good ring cut around the bottom. I still want to try to pull this thing down with the truck, so I'm going to get back in there, give a little juice, and see if we can't rip it down. <laughs> that is awesome. 
Well, I've been surveying the carnage here, and I got to tell you, that was even more fun than I was expecting it to be. A couple of disclaimers. We checked all of the bird and bat houses before I cut this thing down. There were no nests inside, and there were no animals living in them, so no animals were injured in the filming of this video. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. Uh, please consider giving us a thumbs up, liking the video. You can also subscribe to get more content. Uh, we try to upload videos once or twice a week. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.